Hey Dropshippers, welcome back to TechSprice. I am Steven and today we're going to be diving into the world of Shopify Desist. So, uh, your go-to go to for automating order fulfillment and importing products from AliExpress. Let's start by uh, installing Desus into your Shopify store. It's a game changer for managing your dropshipping business. First of all, let's head over into your Shopify. Here, what you can see, we are now inside a dashboard. So let's go here into the Shopify application and here into apps, let's go and type Desus. So here to search for into the app store, this one should be sending us directly into the apps.shopify.com. So here, if you may spell this as I just did before, sorry, just type it once again. And as you can see here is the Desus. Before to install this, you want to make sure that the developer is Desus and only Desus because we don't want to uh, install third party applications that are not from the same developer. So let's key into install. And trust me, it's the first step that was a more efficient dropship experience. So now that you have the Desus install this, what you want to do is to talk about importing and organizing your products seamlessly. So Desus actually streamlines your product importing process. If you want to import your duties from AliExpress, create product listing, keep everything neatly organized efficiently, it's all uh, what it actually takes. It's going to be asking you to log in and to authorize the process to add all the elements from uh, AliExpress directly into your store. So if you don't have an account here in the Desus, it's going to be really, really easy to choose your email, creating a passcode, hitting to log in and authorized, and you're actually good to go. Let's get into links your suppliers. In this case, should be AliExpress. Once again, if you don't have an AliExpress account, which is totally free, you don't have to worry about it. You can just create one, which is actually going to be really, really simple. I'm going to go into AliExpress.com. I hit into register, I choose an email, and I create an actual passcode, and I hit now into sign in. I know it's a lot of processing to enter Jesus, but it's actually really, really worthy. So here, what I wanted to do is to go directly into my uh, orders here to get started and make sure that here into my settings, I do have the sales one and I make sure that I have added my actual Shopify store. You should see that between your Deezer's account and your Shopify, you now have access for orders, unmapped orders, uh, suppliers, supplier products, and all of that. So that means that we are inside Deezer's with no trouble. So let's try to collapse this. Let's go directly into find suppliers and look out for products for you. So tell your time, we have a lot of videos where you can show which is the best product for you, uh, what can you do to find the best product, to find the right efficiency lead, to import much more than that. So you can check out our videos directly inside our YouTube channel. But here what I want to do is to get started with only adding one product as an example. Let's say for example that I kind of like this one. I choose the one that says add to the import list. And once you choose all of your products here, what I want to do is to go here and to check. So I can go directly into my import list. And what I want to do is to hit into edit the products. Now editing the product will be helping me to edit, for example, the name. Let's say for example, I smoke that funny leaf, smoke your t-shirt. Uh, I'll leave like that. The variants, you can import a lot of them. The description should be leave like that. We have 34 images and the shipping information should be leave it as it is. After you hit into save, you can hit into push to store. Now here, what I want to do is to just enable the pricing rule and hit into push to store. Now this one should be automatically sending it directly into my store. So just make sure that I have here saved the button here, one product being pushed. We have to check the status here. I'm going to go back into my store and I wanted to make sure that my product has not been imported right away. So I close this. I go back into my store once again. Here, as you can see, we have zero orders, zero notifications, but let's go into my products. And here, you should be seeing that your product is going to be imported right away. So if I hit into preview on online store, my product should be here 
added uh, with a really great uh, product here. So as you can see, here it is. I have the description, I have the information, and all of that added automatically. So um, there you have it, guys. Of course, a compressed tutorial using these for drop dropshipping. So when somebody purchases a product, it's going to be appearing here into the open orders from AliExpress. And here's the waiting, the order, the payment, the shipping, fulfillment, all the process to be done one by one. When somebody purchases a product directly from your store, automatically this order should be linked directly into your application's updates. That means that here inside these should be appearing your processing of your order. Therefore, it's going to be sent directly into the application of thesis into open orders. And what you need to do is to wait for the payment and the shipping fulfillment should be done automatically. So head into the product, head into process the online order and the supplier is going to be making the order for you uh, with the information provided uh, with the customers. So there you have it guys. This is a really, really great process. If you find this valuable, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more Shopify tips and hit that notification bell. Thank you so much for joining me today. Now go ahead and style these today. Um, watch your dropshipping game reach new heights. Stay tuned for more inside the text press and hopefully guys, we can all see you next time.